Men are funny. They don't like for women to do good work. But sooner or later, grudging you every minute, they will come to you. <laughs> they'll come to you all right, and they'll try to make you what they want you to be. Eventually, it comes down to whether you like yourself. It takes a long time. I went into a room all alone, and I spread out my work, and I said, whatever isn't me, I will throw away. And it was hard, but I managed it. Bit by bit, I got rid of everything that didn't come from deep in me. Out in the Texas plain, I stood under the sun, and I said, now, how does the sun look to me? And I took out papers and colors, and I made a single stroke, and then I made another. And I said, not how it looks to anyone, man or woman, but how does it look to me? And day by day, I made more strokes and laid on more colors. And there came a time when I could see on the paper what I had seen in real life. I had connected. And I've hung on to that connection all my life. The men always wanted me to use dull colors. They all praised each other for being strong and dark. They all came together to look at my work together. It was easy to think of them as little boys, boys in the club, silly boys. But the club was very strong. And yet, there were others, stronger and solitary, that did like women, that liked my work. And they served as a challenge to the others to be broad-minded. So, bit by bit, with time, they came around. What happened was that I was not involved with them, not like they'd have wanted me to be, not like they were with each other. It wasn't them that I was for or against. It was the Texas sun, the Texas moon. It wasn't men or women. But whatever in me could take the world and give it back, could know and hold the world. Eventually that showed somehow, and no one could deny it. When you hold in your hand a perfectly polished stone, or the heart of a flower, you can't say no. And that was the power that I got. I was alone, and then I was not alone. And it came to pass that I could show them the city too, and the stars, and the heart of a woman, and I could come among them. <laughs> And I could go. Men standing together against women, women united against men. What had I to do with any of that? I think I touch something in everyone that's alone. And that's all I know to do. All as far as I know, that there is for anyone to do, 
to hold on to that thing in each of us that's alone and to know it amid the color and the chaos and the noise. What women do to women, men to men, women to men, and what men do to women comes out of that chaos around that solitude. And that is all I know and all there is to know far as I know of what there is to know. As you peel back the petals of any living flower, as you wear down the surface of any polished stone, as the sun burns away the ligaments and the flesh from old bones, as the seasons cover and uncover solid earth, as clouds and sun and stars seem to change this great, unechoing, all-encircling void. And we are all alone. You try to find that center beyond peace and chaos, beyond form and color, where we always are, where we come from, and where we go, and yet, somehow, to notice and love those illusions that seem to sense and love us as we go, as we think we are going on.